smoked sturgeon. Never thought I would ever have the opportunity to taste test some of that. Hi, this is Rocky, the funny guy, and this is Funny Guy Food Reviews. It's been a long time since I made one of these videos, so it might be a little rough. Sturgeon. If you don't know what it is, it's this huge prehistoric looking creature. It has no scales really, but it has like armored plates and these big bumps all over it. Kind of a, a high uh, back with plates sticking up and it's got these four little uh, dangly things coming out from under its, its uh, snorkel tube mouth. It uses that to feel its way in the dark down in the deep water. They eat things like um, crayfish and bottom dwelling animals. But they've got this long sucker tube that uh, they suck stuff up from the bottom. Really unusual fish. You've probably heard about caviar and that's what uh, the best caviar is. It comes from sturgeon over in Russia. There's hardly any left because after the uh, Russia became more of a uh, or the so socialism, uh, the Soviet Union broke up. There was really no laws to uh, govern, govern the capture of sturgeon, so it was a free for all. And now they're endangered. They're endangered in most places, anyways, just because of over over harvesting. And they take uh, they take a uh, century or so to you know really live out their life. Some are well uh, well beyond that. I think the largest one ever caught was 23 feet. 23 feet, that's like as long as a house is wide. Anyhow, last week I'm traveling along the, the eastern coast of Lake Michigan and I run across this place called Bortel's Quality Smoked Fish. Gotta stop there. The place had people standing outside. Inside there was a line going around the whole a uh, little room there, and there's all kinds of, of course, uh, dead fish mounted on the wall. Looks like they were mounted there around the turn of the last century. They could use a little uh, improvement touch-up. But they had glass, two glass cases just full of all kinds of fish meat, and one of them was mm, smoked meat, my favorite. Couldn't believe. Sturgeon? Really, where do they get sturgeon? Did a little research, and I think up in northern Canada, they can still harvest it. And, and sell it and have a, uh, a large enough populations. So anyways, here we go. Smoked sturgeon. Comes in the neatly wrapped like a Christmas present package. Oh, <laughs> $35 a pound. Or if you don't turn your camera around, <laughs> 53 I got the smallest piece I could, which turned out to be $16.45. I'm not going to eat the whole thing right now. I'm going to share this with my kids. And the cool thing is, I oh, my video is going. I thought I'd start all over again. Anyway, we're going to taste test this, and we're going to share with other people, because that is just too much to be uh, woofing down on your own. kind of like to save that for a keepsake. It's always special when you can unwrap something that you're going to eat. Get to do it twice. Man, you just can't help but be overpowered by the smell of smoked meat. Ooh, and I can smell it, all right? My COVID uh, smeller is still not back 100%, and it's been like... Uh, since the third time I got COVID, oh, it's like six months, still isn't back. Lost my smell and taste all three times. Just nothing better than the smell of smoked meat. So there's quite the chunk right there. Oh, look at that. The crisscrossing of the the grill that that thing sits on for 24 hours or whatever it takes to make these things. And they start by soaking it in brine, so it's got a lot of salt in it, of course. It looks 
It gives me the impression of the most perfectly roasted marshmallow. And you can get square marshmallows like this now, but they're not as good as the round ones. But it's like perfectly done. Golden brown, not burnt, not white. Looking forward to this. And this skin is like a chunk of leather on there. Wow. And there's also a piece of, uh, what's that? Chunk of aluminum. You don't want that to fall in the mix. All right, I'm gonna break a hunk off. Hey, looks like chicken. You know how fish usually has all those little layers to it? Because that's how the muscles contract and that's how a fish swims. Oh, it's even better smelling inside. They don't have the layers here. Here we go. Not as soft as trout or salmon. It don't taste like chicken. It tastes like smoked fish. Not strong at all. Really mild fish. I would say there's probably a lower fat content in this than there is in salmon and trout or whitefish. One of my favorite, by the way, whitefish. Isn't that cool to see the contrast of the golden brown and the light inside? Bet you wish you had a piece of this, don't you? Well, I have to say from experience, nothing smoked that I've ever had has ever been bad. That rhymes. This is not high up on my list of the best smoker fish I've ever had, certainly. And I think it's because of the lower fat content. But it's really mild. It doesn't taste like chicken, but it looks like it. It's a bit chewy, but that's okay. I'd rather have that than just melt in your mouth. That's kind of, that's kind of creepy. Whoa. Is it worth 35 bucks a pound? I would say food wise, no. That'd be expensive living. And it's not that good tasting. But is it worth it for the experience to say that you have eaten an endangered species and done it legally? I think so. Ooh. Like I said, anything smoked is really good. So if you ever run across this in a rare food market or some off the beaten track smoked fish store, grab yourself a hunk of this. If nothing else, just to say that you did. And who knows, maybe it'll help support the fishery of this being sustained somewhere. I don't know. And as far as that uh, chunk of skin, it's... Uh, it's not long enough to make a belt or a wristband, but I think I'm going to preserve that hanging on the wall just as a keepsake. So there you have it. Smoke sturgeon. Give it a try if you can. Thanks for watching.